What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Diamond Studios podcast. This is where some friends get together to talk about music, business, and the balance of both with life. I'm your host, Nathan Collins. As always, we're joined by the one and only Kevin Beggs, Hello. Jonathan Boucher, so. Ben Brewer, and today we are talking about things you should be working on or finished with in the month of October. Let's get into it. Are you satisfied, Jonathan? We got the let's get into it. Um, <laughs> no, last, forward. yeah, <laughs> last week's episode was awesome. We talked about, um, some really fun things with, uh, shows and fall and the coordination, uh, correlation between the two. And, uh, speaking of shows and fall, we just had our first, um, show for our October concert series. And, uh, it's fitting because we're talking about October today. Woo. Um, but the concert was awesome. Um, it's really cool. It, the vibe with the overall, just the overall feeling was just good. Um, it, w- I feel like we achieved what we were aiming for. Yeah, we're not aiming for a giant crowd. We're not aiming for like anything rowdy, um, but obviously we're aiming for a ROI and um, people having a good time. Yeah, and we achieved both. Uh, so today we're gonna focus on October, and uh, musicians, this one's for you. Um, this one is one of those where we're gonna tell you to get your life together, get your crap together, and uh, hopefully this will help you this year. If it doesn't help you this year. Go ahead and start planning for next year's October. And um, whenever we do something like this next October, you can just be like, oh, cool. I've already done that. Cool beans. All right. Number one. <laughs> it's so <laughs> quiet in here. And it's, it's so weird. quiet. Um, number one, Christmas music. Um, if you plan on releasing a Christmas <laughs> song, especially a Christmas oh, album, yeah, you need to have it done by the end of October. Need to. You have to. Um, so Mariah Carey starts knocking on the door in September. Yeah, and then your marketing <laughs> is down the drain. You can't compete with that. No, you can't. <laughs> it's number one every year. It's Especially with all the memes and the marketing. That's you can't. You can't beat it. I bet her TikTok check is beautiful. Yeah, it's it's probably, a cultural force, especially during Christmas times. That's valid. I'd like to hear an Ice JJ Fish cover. I don't know <laughs> if I want to hear that, but sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wait, Ice JJ Fish covering one of her songs or her covering one of Ice JJ Fish's songs? Mm, either or. Yep, so Christmas music. Um, you should have that done by the end of uh, October. Um, at least very, very close to ha- to being done. Um, the reason being because um, by the end of October, you know, everything Christmassy comes out November 1st. People are putting up their trees. People are, um, they're starting, Christmas marketing is full force on November 1st. Um, and you only have a month and, what, three weeks from November 1st until yeah. Christmas. Thanksgiving um, is basically just preseason to Christmas. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Thanksgiving is just a pregame to Christmas. It's a pregame, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> um <laughs> That's a good way to put it, actually. Yeah. That's a really good name. Um, <laughs> it's a band name. Yeah. Pre-game to Christmas. Yeah. Pre-game to Christmas. That's pretty dope. <laughs> um, what kind of music? Punk. Fair. All right. Back on topic. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you're recording a Christmas song, um, if it's not all originals and you're doing some covers, you need time to get your permissions in check your copyright permissions in check, and that can take quite a while. Um, depending on the avenue you take and if you're experienced in it or not, it can take a minute. So you need to hop on that right now. Um, and if you didn't know you had to have permission to release other people's <laughs> songs, you have a lot of homework to do, my friend. Um, and at the time of this podcast, you've got like two weeks to finish. Uh, <laughs> or you can just wait 100 years and then release <laughs> something. I mean, yeah. I mean, you could you could yeah, wait that long true. and wait for it to be public domain, and <laughs> but that's you're a patient human <laughs> if you do that. Oh man! I'd like for this to release in twenty one, twenty three. That should I be get full royalties <laughs> all for myself. Well, if you start doing that for every album you write, you write another album alongside to release like a hundred years later. Just have something automatic yeah. set up. Just have it set. Mm. Can you do that? I mean, is that what Biggie yeah. did? <laughs> Here's a real question: Will Spotify be around in a hundred years? That's how Tupac is set in. Like, that's how he's still releasing music. I'm I'm joking. 
all the Tupac conspiracy theorists. I'm kidding. Um, that's a good question. We should do that podcast. Yeah. Will Spotify and streaming be around in a hundred years? That would be yeah. good. Um, okay, let's not get off topic because yeah. I will nerd out. In a hundred um, years, we'll have like Spotify. <laughs> Oh no! Super premium. Elon Elon will come out before too long with like the chip you can put in your brain and like listen to. That's music what in I was brain. talking about. Yep. Oh no! It could be called. You have to like pick your nose to skip songs. It's like <laughs> forward and backwards. <laughs> Slap <pause>. your left <laughs> cheek. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it just goes to the next song. <laughs> what would it be called? It would it be called Musk? I think it, I, I think it'll be like nipple buttons. Music. <laughs> <What>? Skip. <laughs> like, go back. Nipple buttons. Yeah. <laughs> hey, can you skip this song for me? Oh, sure, man. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> this is what I was talking about. Before we're getting too far off topic. Oh my gosh. And then the pause. Pause. Oh my both. gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Let's move on. Let's we're move gonna on. do this podcast. We will. We will. Um, let's not waste all of our good ammo here. Um, all right, so yeah, Christmas music needs to be done um, by the end of this month. Um, hey, we are indeed available to help you out. Um, whether you're recording, you need artist, um, what is it called, advice. Um, we do this stuff on a daily basis. We can do it with our eyes closed, and we can help you out. So please reach out to us. We'd love to help you get this stuff situated. You have to understand, though, you are on a very strict timeline. Um, yeah, so reach out to us. Like what, three weeks? Yep. Roughly. At the time of this podcast being released. Yeah. So if you're a couple weeks behind and you're a musician, you're probably screwed already. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, get your crap together for next year. I mean, there's always next year. Um, yeah. All right, number two, marketing plans. Um, you need to have, for all of your winter releases, so this is everything from November um, through February, you need to have your marketing plans, um, mapped out. The reason being is because this is a very, very saturated time of year for everything, for merchandise, for music, for sales, um, just commerce all across the board, um, music to physical goods. It is such a thick time of year. <laughs> I should have used better phrasing. Sure. Um, it's okay. Though. It is such a saturated time of year for um for all of these things. And so if you don't have a detailed marketing plan to where you can market yourself around the pregame of Christmas, like Thanksgiving, um, you advertise a release and all your family goes to a family gathering, word of mouth is incredibly helpful yeah. at those things. Um so but if you're not planning these things and like promoting it around these these holidays, you know, like Christmas, um, you know, doing giveaways, uh, January, it's a new you, hallelujah, everyone's going to be 20 pounds lighter in, in a perfect world um, come January 1st. Um, if you don't market around these things, then, or if you're not prepared to market around these things, then they're going to fail um, nine times out of ten, not always, because the internet is a weird place. Um, but yeah, you need to have your marketing plans um ready to go for the winter releases because technically February also goes through the winter because mm -hmm. spring is until what? March? March. In the March, yeah. In the yeah. March. Um, and so if you're looking to release a, you know, a lovey-dovey song in February, um, a lot of things that happens is after January 1st, there's this thing that switches in everybody's mind that it's a new time of year. And so they start working on new projects whenever you should be done with your February release by December so that you can start planning your marketing strategy around Valentine's Day if that's the if that's the move you're going for. Um, number three, plans to get in the studio in 2024. Hey. Um, this is wherever you're at. Um, I know we have people that listen literally all over the world, which is freaking cool. Um, you need to find a studio, and you need to book your studio time about a month out. Um, maybe even two months, not for the studio sake. It is helpful. Um, but you need to book your studio time, put your deposit in and get ready. You need to come in prepared for 2024. Um, so that you're just prepared and you're not wasting a bunch of money and time, um, on both ends, the studio time and the artist time. Uh, you, you want to get in there and knock your music out, you know? Yeah. And if just, you're not prepared. Someone else will be. That's valid. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> oh, okay. 
yeah, so I misread that. It's end of year releases. Um, I thought it said end of your releases. <laughs> like we're canceling everyone's releases right now. This is the end of this your is release. the end of your release. Um, no, end of October. Um, you know, it's it's closer to Christmas than it is to January, um, but not by much. No, but by like a week, not even. No, it's about a week. Um, you need to have your end of year releases. So if you're planning on doing like a whole like. I'm switching up my genre come 2024 and the things that you're working on are still 2023 styles, then you don't have a new sound. Um, this happens all the time, literally all the time. This kind of bleeds into your marketing thing of, of point number two is there's a lot of artists who will invest a lot of time on social media. Like, yo, we got new music, so things that we've never, uh, we've never recorded before. This doesn't even sound like the normal us but they're still working on like three previous albums worth of music. And so the things that they're talking about, by the time they release it, it's irrelevant to the things that yeah. they're promising their fans. And so you need to get those organized, get them released or put them in a pile of things that will never see the light of day. Um, it happens. Um, or just release them onto YouTube and be like, Hey, here's our demos. Enjoy them. If you will. Um, just wait for 20 years and say, here's the demos to this really famous album that we could. planned out so well. You could set that release date for 20 years. Just release your music. <laughs> That's not a bad idea for crap songs. It's just going to em embarrass your great grandkids. It's true. I mean, you're going to be dead. So you can just release like <laughs> all these trash things and... <laughs> be like, wait, Can you imagine your children You're showing their dead. children's like, yeah, this is what grandpa sounds like. Oh man, he sounds really bad. And we got stuff like Beanie Weenie Tutini oh. sounding things, which is awful. Um, what a terrible band! Awful. <laughs> you can't Google them because no one can spell no. it. <laughs> I think it's genius oh, about it. Gosh, man, so funny. But anyway, yeah, you need to have your end of end of year releases. Plan um, plan your releases in essence. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to be yeah. shooting blanks. Valid. Dang it, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing he says on the podcast <laughs> like the whole episode. <laughs> shooting blanks. It's been <laughs> man. It's been five minutes since the last indie window, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> this guy's got a time last in your window. <laughs> Amazing. So, uh, very short and to the point episode today. Um, yeah. Partially because we have an artist coming in to record who is having his crap together. Yeah, uh, he's, he's getting his, his marketing plan. Um, it's Joshua Pruitt. I don't, he wouldn't mind us saying that. No, um, Josh. it's Joshua Pruitt. Yeah, he's killing it. He's got his marketing plan. Uh, well, we're working on the marketing plan, and um, we have a, a release goal. Um, it's not set in stone, but it's a goal. Um, really like he's doing it right. He's doing it right. So you should be more like Joshua and more like all these other artists who are putting in the work to release their music on time. Not shooting blanks. And not shooting yep. blanks. Um, release yeah. your music. Release your music. Oh boy. Well, guys, what have y'all been listening to this week? It's good. It's been an eventful week, actually. Yeah, it has been. <clears throat> uh, throwing the new Sufjan Stevens album. Okay. Been listening to that a few times through. I like it. It's got a good amount of chaos to it, but uh, I kind of like that in the album. It gives you something to come back to. Nice. Hmm. But uh, nice. I like it. I, I've loved his stuff before, so I usually try to give it a week after I listen, and that's Revisit. when the songs kind of start to pop back into my okay. head, like, oh, that's where that melody's from. Nice. So talk to me in a week, and I'll have a better idea of if I like it or not. Nice. <laughs> but, <laughs> What about you, Kevin? Well, I have a, I have an EP coming out. Oh yes! Oh, this Friday. This Friday. Yeah. Holy crap! I'm that scared. Came so quick. I'm excited and scared at the same time. It's a good. Give us a rundown. What's it about? Oh man. <laughs> well, I was like <laughs> oh, 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 oh. on the spot. Um, it's about a lot of personal things that I wanted to really convey but I feel like I couldn't convey in necessarily just words or just music and so yeah. naturally I put that in a song um, but it's really an extension of things that um, I was processing for the past few years 
and it came together in song form finally. Nice. And so it's called Heart Art, and I'm excited to put it out. It's freaking dope. It's awesome. I love it. Cool. Well, what you been listening to, Beebs? Well, there's a new Wilco album out. Oh, yes. I've been listening to that. Cousin. It's really good. Wasn't that last week's pick, too? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really good album. <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be next week's pick, too. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm just going to be Wilco drops same, some new music. Same picture every week. <laughs> and then kidding. there'll be a big supercut of me saying, there's a new Wilco album out. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question. Is there any other artist that if they released music right now would supersede the Wilco album? Oh, man. Radiohead, probably. It would, yeah, it would have to be Radiohead. Have to be Radiohead. Honestly, I'd probably be with you. Yeah. So mm. I would do that for me as well. Yeah. If if Radiohead releases a new album soon, which hopefully so, we should definitely have a listening party. We should. All right. Well, I'll just lay on the floor and <laughs> throw on some Radiohead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. Sounds like a classic musician's house. <laughs> just walk in everybody's on the cold, floor guys, I swear yeah everybody's on a psychedelic print carpet just laying there staring at the ceiling we're high only on music yeah only on music yep now we sound like druggies now we do it's okay um well i listened to um drake's new album oh yeah um, he has a new new album yeah is yeah. it better than <laughs> is it better <laughs> than the last one <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like yeah it, wouldn't take, it wouldn't take a whole yeah. lot to beat the he last felt, one. He felt the harsh mm-hmm. criticism, and he was like, "All right, yeah, oh, that's good." Yeah, um, this album I've listened to it a total times of three times, which I'm not a Drake fan. Um, typically, that's not even my style of music, um, but I've listened to it because you can tell he had he had a say in the way the album went, which for an A lister who signed to a major label, that's rare for it to be that evident you know what i mean um sure they work with the artist and like flows on the album but um you can tell he had he had connection with the producers and it's really evident that's cool it's very evident um he also threw his son on a song so he's pulling a dj khaled a toby mac um and a toby mac (laughs) so their sons are raking in the dough off of these royalties and they are set for life before they're even five. It's incredible. Or ten. I don't know how yeah. old his son is. But, uh, yeah, it's genius. Throw all that money in a Roth IRA, and there you go. By the time they're 18, they're going to be millionaires. Mil- <coughs> Mul- millions multi- of dollars of tax-free income. Multi-millionaires. It's really cool. Yeah. Genius. Gotta love it. Genius. So, yeah, that's what... Um, <laughs> I just put leave as the exit. <laughs> you did. Leave. <laughs> bah. Bah. You want to sing us out? Yeah. Don't sing <clears throat> us out, but sing the song. Well, don't sing the song. Sing. <laughs> Do our outro song. That one. This has been the podcast. This has been the podcast.